Oh, look, there's a pine cone. Yes. And a pine cone. Yes, follow the pine cone. Oh, my, we made this way too hard. Yes. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Ozo and Ed. Eagle Eye Fi. We are back into the cave and uh, we found the bubble frog. We went ahead and took the, some opportunity in between time to do a little bit of cl rock clearing. A little bit of rock clearing, yeah, because <laughs> we've know. only got like 47 rusty claymores thing <laughs> on the floor. Right. <laughs> there we go. Now we're nice and clear. And we have a bubble frog. Boop. Hi, bubble frog. Bye, bubble frog. Bye, bubble frog. And it's time for the rabbit to go back to the rabbit burrow. Ah. Yeah. More stuff to blow up. Oh, hey. Perfect. Perfect. What? Use your alter hand and. Oh, yeah. What? Use your alter hand in the water. Probably nothing, but okay. Yeah, nothing. I like to check. I feel like that's gonna be a maybe a secret chest or something. Yeah, I would say so. Cause this does not seem like the place that most people would go. Yeah. Ooh. Feels like it's a little hidden away. Yeah. Just some good ore nodes, it looks like, maybe. You might use, you want to use your rock on a sword or something. Yeah, use my rock on a stick. Rather than the one of the better weapons. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we've got a lot of good weapons, but it's better than this one. All right, now check your water again. <laughs> yeah, okay. nothing. Gotta make sure. Yeah, it's just uh, shallow enough to run in. It's not. So. I I'm still like to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's like me trying to go backwards in, in a level and uh, seeing if there's secrets there. It's something I always do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and even more rocks to blow up. Yeah, that's interesting. We've had a few of these, and, and they have been the ones where it's had the, the structure. Right? Remember mm -hmm. the one in Gerudo? We had a ton of rock to blow up there. Yes. And that was also a structure. Right. Oh. Okay, it's an ice lake. Well, you're right. I should be using... Uh, I should be using the wand. It's really not doing anything to it. Interesting. Well, I would think it would it warm must... it up and like make it take a bunch of damage. It should, yes. And I just missed it. It, but it looks like it's going through it. Come on, Tulin. He's right there. He's got his tongue out for you. Just do it, man. <laughs> Good do it. Uh oh. Ah! Yeah. Come on, do it. Thank you. Thank you, finally. All right, now you do it. Igneous Talus Heart. There you That'll go. That'll make it hurt. There <laughs> you go. Good job. That was, that was using... That was easy. That was using the wrong tool for the job, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Way too good. <sighs> All right. Go get your yep. chest. Another oh. falcon bow, which I don't even need. Uh, su superior rate of fire. Well, I guess I'll drop this and take the falcon bow. And I think actually this is back where we started. Because there was that ice like right as we came in and we went the opposite direction. So I okay. think this is the way out.
Yes. Wow. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it was a, it was a really neat cave actually. Yeah, it was. Uh, definitely more than I anticipated finding in here. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I really just anticipated finding a bunch of uh, uh, monsters. Yeah. You you just go running on up to them. I know you put on your sneaky stuff, but you just go running on up to them. That's you don't right. even try and sneaky. No. How am I going to get those? Those are going to be a challenge to get. <laughs> All right. Oh, you got one of them. I got one. That's enough. Time to head out into the canyon and uh, see. Oh, there's some. That's that's the boulder thing. Is it? Yeah. Okay. That's the campfire. Uh, I'm I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain. Alrighty. So Here. we're we're back okay. on the hunt. You know what I should have done? Darner. Thank you. I saw it though. Uh, maybe we go back to the thing and use all those monster parts, uh, not monster parts, but Zoni parts to make a car and then go tooling down the, the canyon here. And uh, Well, I think we need to go back better. up. I don't think that they would send us this far away with no um, direction. I kind of do, honestly. I don't. I mean, I think that there is direction. We just didn't find it. But I feel like this is right going down here. But okay, so I'll, I'll go back up and we'll talk to people at the stable again. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, I think we should refresh our memory because it's been a minute. In real life. Yes. It's only been two episodes for everybody else. <laughs> hey, it's been a minute for them too. That's true. That's two days. But you're right. We don't know where to go. And the game is usually pretty good about giving pretty us good some about giving you something. Yeah. Not just randomly go on a random goose chase and look everywhere. But there have been times where that something is not right here where we pick up the quest. You know, we right. gotta go along the road, for instance. Right. Alright. Banji, what does she say? Mom. I'm not gonna read all this. Okay. Okay, so she tells us about the stuff along the road. Oh. And... Oh, that... The pine cones. There's pine cones on the ground, and that's supposed to be like where they are coming. The goats ate the pine cones, right? I don't know. You still. Where have the white gones, goats gone? How did Princess Zelda evolve? I'm I'm not reading all yeah. this clearly. The bottle that he kept the recipe was blown off somewhere by the wind. I'm going to poke around and see if I can turn up oh. any further information. Uh, uh, what? This guy? No. The, I'd say we also check out the uh, well. We did. Did we? We did, yes. I'm fairly certain. Fairly certain we checked out the well. Right now I'm checking out all the fish and frogs. Oh come uh, on, I was right next to that one. Oh, you've got her down here. You can put rocks on her hands. Ah. Now you and I know what that means. <laughs> 
Oh, I, I don't. I, uh, I can't because... Well, can I? Can I? Yes. Put big boulders on Minoru's hands. Yes. There we go. She had the little boulders on. Um... Oh, that's mud. That's mud. I don't believe we've been down here. It does look foreign. I mean, it doesn't look familiar. Not, not necessarily foreign, but it doesn't look familiar. <laughs> I thought for sure we had... That's going to sink. But there's, there's another, another piece one. over there. Oh, I almost walked off the edge. I don't do that. That'll be good enough. Good enough. All right, so what do we have in here? A campfire. A burned out campfire. Oh, rock, pull it out of the hole. Uh-huh. Oh. And dodge it as it's rolling toward me. Yeah. Okay, there's not underneath anything. Okay. Oh. A chest. Does this have maybe a bottle with a recipe in it? <laughs> no, no, it's got rupees. Well, I mean, I'm happy to have a rupee. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, come on. <laughs> I was right there. He practically ran over my hand. <laughs> All right, well, it doesn't seem like there's anything more in this cave. And we're not going to find a chest in the in the bubbling mud, and it doesn't seem like there's anything in here. Mm -hmm. The campfire is very interesting that it was here, mm -hmm. but there's just nothing else. I suppose we could try to ascend here and see if that goes someplace special. Yeah. I don't expect that it does. Oh. Nope. Oh, I would have gone back up. We have to get out of here anyway. We do. I just was going to double check as we go along back, I guess. Just to make sure that we didn't miss something obvious. <laughs> Feels like there should be something else here. And I'm, I'm going to keep on saying that until I... I'm trying to manifest something to, <laughs> to happen here. But, no. All right. Time to go back up to the surface. Yeah, I I had would have sworn that we had uh, been down there, but now I'm swearing that we did it. Yep. I, yeah, I, I'm certain we had not been. Okay, we talked to this guy before. White goats, blah, blah, blah. Left the Hylian pine cones weren't even eaten. Recipe. The main ingredient was Hylian pine cones, fine. Requires you to mix the, whole, the pine cones in whole. You don't grind them down or anything. I don't. Didn't want my wonderful goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. Then a big storm came through and blew it off somewhere. Mm. Wasn't able to find it. Alright. Well, I don't know that there's any place else that we can... Is there anybody else we can talk to? We got some kids. Horse God, Melania. 
<laughs> Cute. Rain, lucky me. Come out, rare electric darners. Hmm. Dude, I'm sure we need electric darners for something. I'll solve this mystery. What mystery is huh? that, pray tell? Hmm, is something bothering you, young man? Oh, could it be this bright young fellow is interested in the poster, too? Reports say that this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. Oh. It's, it's been the talk of all the stables. They say Princess Zelda herself was seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. Fearsome indeed. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike all... all Hike to all the stables to find out if there's any truth to these rumors. Oh, we don't get to tell him. We don't get to enlighten him. Hmm? Check the person at the Oh, paper. she just tells us oh. what the paper says. Yeah. Okay, other stories. Oh. The Stubborn Torches of Hyrule Castle. Interesting. According to reliable sources, there are mysterious torches within the Hyrule Castle that cannot be lit. That's how we've got the tunic. Oh. I think. Hmm. Torches that can't be lit. That's really strange. I do love a challenge, though. Reading about this makes me want to try to light them myself. Oh. I always read every word of these newspapers. All right. What's the news? Oh, oh there's an update on the Yiga napping of Princess Zelda story from earlier. Sources now state that the incident at Dueling Peak Stable was a Yiga clan plot to appear to kidnap the princess. I had read somewhere that the Yiga clan are really good at disguising themselves. But a Yiga disguised as the princess, then present, pretending they'd been kidnapped? Jeez, that's a, they're a really strange bunch. Uh-huh, you have no Oh, idea. but that means the princess is still missing. I hope she's okay. Oh. I always read every word of these newspapers. The big cold snap is over, so maybe I'll go visit the news hounds at the Lucky Clover Gazette and see what I can learn. Alright. I think I'm going to sleep Ooh. just because I don't want to be out in the rain. Okay. Ooh. We've got plenty of those tickets. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, let's use a ticket. Oh. We well, only got a few hours left, but hopefully it'll be done raining by then. Yeah. <laughs> if hey, a else... few hours at 2.20 in the morning, I'd like to lay my head down and dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to get up. I don't want to be up that late, and I don't want to get up Ooh. that early for sure. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Our employee Banshee really knows this place. And it's not. Done raining. Okay, so we did travel this way toward this stable when we were looking for the, the I guess it was the Piper, wasn't We found one of the musicians down here in this hole. Mm -hmm. um, and we didn't really find anything more that would lead us to the bottle and the recipe. Uh... We got a tear up here. And this is where we found the very first Lionel that we ran into like so long ago. Yeah. I saw that thing and it was like, uh, yeah, Washes no. Washes Bluff. Hmm. I feel like there was some kind of mention of that at some point. I really kind of feel like it's down in the cliff and I want to go. I want to, I want to go back to the cliff and I want to make the car and ride. Mount Rome, named for King Rome. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I suppose it could be. See, the what, we, what, what would help us out, I think, is if we knew that, that the storms always blow a certain direction. Right. But they didn't mention that. Right. So it either, I mean, it can't go north or south. We've got mountains either way. So it's either over here in the Scablands or it's down in the ravine. 
and I think those are really our only two choices. So, but what do you? Let's I'm, check to Beetle. Okay, let's talk to Beetle. They brought us together. Wow, is that a rugged rhino beetle I spy in your inventory? I love rugged rhino beetles. Uh, will you give it to me? I won't ask for it as a gift. Oh no! How about trading it for a tough elixir? Sure. <laughs> there is there is good in the world. I'm going to spend the day treating this beetle like royalty. And if you think I'm mushy, just wait until you see this beetle's excretions. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Gosh, Beetle. <laughs> well, let's see what you got. Oh, no, this is me showing him what I've got. Ah, it's fine. Sure, let's sell some bright bloom seeds. We'll sell a hundred of them, why not? Oh, no, I don't want that. All right, let's get done. Beetle isn't going to help us find the recipe. Okay. <laughs> Worth a try. Beetle's always an interesting bloke to talk to, though, isn't he? Yes, he is. Thunderwing butterflies? Yeah. Not sneaky enough for them. Hmm. This is back into the area where we found the weird gazebo on top of the uh, flower down there, you know? Mm-hmm. But I don't really feel like that's related. Because I don't see how it could have blown up there, you know? Right. No, it's good. It's going to be in the possession of a monster camp or, I mean, it's going to have something special that we can interact oh. with. <laughs> Nicely done. There's still something else coming for us, I think. No. No? Okay. You got them both. There was just two. You got two for one. Yeah. I just thought I heard the music. So, really, all I'm looking for is... Something interesting, something that's going to be a point that we can interact with, you know? Mm-hmm. But we are still just wandering aimlessly with no real direction. Right. I don't like that. I don't like that either. They did talk about how the goats would spit up, were spitting up the pine cones. So I had hoped that maybe they would be leaving a trail of pine cones that we could follow. Right. But, I mean, I didn't really see anything. Well, you around. did pick up the one. I did, yes. I did pick up the one. And you didn't really look around for any others. Yeah, I really don't think this is the right direction. Know what I mean, Jean? Yes, I do. Do you agree? I do. You already said I do, dear. <laughs> <laughs> And I did see the monster group over there, yeah. but... Eh. Okay. Back we go to the stable. Look around for the pine, pine cones. cones. I, yeah. I think that's your clue. I I think you might be right. I I tend to agree. That's about the best we got. It is. I'm going to go this way just a little. 
Not that I expect to be able to see pine cones from the air, but... Oh, there's a goat. Isn't that a goat? That's a bird. Oh, okay. It's a plane! It's a bird! <laughs> it's a raw bird dance drumstick. It's a raw bird drumstick now. <laughs> White goats. Yeah, I mean, we could potentially just search for the goats by themselves. Mm-hmm, but we also need the recipe. Yeah. I'm kind of guessing that we, when we find the goats, we'll find the recipe, you know? We could also feed the dog. There's two dogs, actually. Here, doggy, have a drumstick. Okay, this one's blind. No, he's just spinning around. <laughs> Give him a minute. There you go, see? Yeah. Now we gotta dip into the good stuff. <laughs> He's following me. <laughs> mm. Want more? Here, be a good doggy. Show me something really cool. Well, don't take it out. I'm pretty sure that we need to feed him four for, um, for number one, and for two, he'll go running off as soon as we've given him enough. There we go. Do you see it yet? Maybe behind this tree? Yeah. Is it too much to hope that the recipe is going to be inside this? Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. Oh, look, there's a pine cone. Yes. And a pine cone. Yes, follow the pine cone. Oh, my, we made this way too hard. Yes. <laughs> And a pine cone. Two pine cones. Well, don't we feel silly. Where am I going? I am, we are going back down the road. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is right on, smack on the road. What is that up there? A sundial, a sundial. And then they go over this way. Across the ravine. Well, we were close, actually. I mean, I was almost, I, I almost walked right over him, apparently. Didn't even see him. Wow. I wonder if they don't actually generate until you start following them. I don't know. I don't think so. We went down but, this ravine. But also, you would not have necessarily seen them or paid any attention to them. That's true. I might not have. Ah, there the goats are. There the goats are. We were right here, weren't we? We were right uh. here. Wow. And there's the there's recipe. The bottle. Whoa, those are my white goats. So this is where they ran off to. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are you all okay? And you're the one who found them? Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle! This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it. I need to check the recipe. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Wait! Oh, no! 
grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use the whole Hylian pine cone hole. I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats. They must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I would have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe that Princess Zelda shared with me. I should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, I really do want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. I swear, from now on, I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, and I really, really can't thank you enough for finding my white goats and the recipe. We're going to head back to the stable. You take care. We'll have to check in with him. <laughs> <laughs> Partner! Oh! I saw everything, partner! Ah! A perfect investigation with a happy ending! I'd expect nothing less from you! Hmm, did you think it's a coincidence that the missing white goats and the lost recipe were in the same place? Kinda. Mm hmm. I have another theory. Maybe the white goats set out to find the bottle themselves because they couldn't stand to eat the wrong recipe anymore. Well, that could make sense. <laughs> I don't think that's the case, but it does make you wonder, doesn't it? Yeah, I wonder. We've worked together to chase 12 of the rest, the stories re relating to Princess Zelda. Huh. I can't hear the chirps and warbles of my little birds anymore. It seems like this was the yes. final rumor about Princess Zelda. Finally. I want to report this to Tracy. That means this is probably the last addition to the, your next egg, partner. Nice. Oh, wow, really nice indeed, yeah. Oh. I don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes the kind of money we're making. It really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper values you. Hmm. If I'm being honest, though, I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. <laughs> oh, some water must have gotten caught under my goggles. Oh. It really was a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to the Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know that the job's finished. All right, I'm going to hurry back to HQ and bring the word of this story's conclusion to our readers. See you later, partner. I look forward to chasing another big scoop with you. So luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, going to miss I... doing his voice. Oh, I know. And you do it so well. <laughs> it is one of my favorite things. <laughs> All right, I'm tired of running around as a Yiga, so I'm back <laughs> into my regular armor. In order to say, we have to wrap up the episode. No. I know, this one was fun. I mean, it was fun once we got started and got yeah. on the right track. Yeah. I swear we were here. We were here when I came into this valley. I was on this particular clump of... Well, we'll have to go back and double check. I, I don't, yeah. It, it probably wasn't, or I, I don't know, but I'm glad we got it done nonetheless. Yes. So... What are we going to do next episode? Well, we got to go turn in or go talk to Tracy and get the last bit of our armor from her and uh, finish out that suit. And then probably off to another shrine, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess that's it for now. Remember, be excellent to each other. We're out. <laughs>